Love It Weekly. and Cloud Wars Pokemon fans wanting to talk about episode 70 of Pokemon Horizons and let me just say I I've been having a lot of fun with these episodes man I have I've thoroughly enjoyed them okay Bombardier's bitch okay we can all admit that that thing is no good we we don't we don't stand Bombardier in this house at all okay Tinka Tink did not deserve anything she went through in this episode but it was still hype what happened at the end uh I, well we're gonna talk about Tinka Tink and, and all that stuff in a minute but I want to say I like the callback that they did with, with Cap, right? Where they were like, you know, seeing all the wild Pokemon and all these interactions that are happening in the wild. And these like three little baby Pichus that come up and they start, you know, playing with, with Cap. Uh, <laughs> and Liko makes the mistake of saying, oh, they look so cute. And then Cap just starts sneezing again. And Dot's like, wait, what's wrong? And then, you know, Frida's like, oh, Cap is allergic to being called cute which kind of sucks because he's so popular and she's like what she didn't witness that when it happened right but i'm glad to see the callback i'm glad the writers remembered that that's a thing and they brought it back okay this is amazing continuity i like it now let's talk about tinka tink real quick and all the stuff that happened now listen i i kind of there was there is only one problem i have with this episode and it's not even the fact that it's it's bad it's just that it's one of those those problems that happen because it's not a primary Pokemon for the for Dot, right? It's always Quaxwell. Quaxwell is her starter, right? So he's gonna get a majority of the screen time. So Tink and Tink in this episode has a bigger hammer than she's had since we started, right? Her hammer used to be tiny, and all of a sudden right now it's too big for her to even carry properly, right? Which is another hint to the evolution. I just kind of wish that we had seen this progression over time. So so it didn't feel like, oh, the previous time we saw Tinka Ting, she had a tiny hammer, and all of a sudden she's got this big ass hammer, right? Um, but again, it's not like, I'm not knocking too much because you can't show everything, right? You have to be able to infer certain things. And I guess we can tell because we don't really know time span when it comes to the show because a lot of stuff, you know, we don't know how many days happen between one thing and another. So, because it's been a while since we've actually seen Tink and Tink in action, we don't really know if it's actually grown, right? So, I'll give him a pass for that, because we all know that Tink and Tink likes to tinker around, right? That's the whole point of the line, that's why it's called that, right? It's always working on shit, right? And, and, and improving its hammer, right? So, we're just gonna, we're gonna leave that as a possibility and go from there, move forward. So then, it, it finds this new, like, iron, like, block and she's like yes this is exactly what I want to do to keep improving my hammer and this is where we talk about Bombardier being a little bitch right because at first Tinky Tink is just you know working working on this thing right bam bam and the fucking Bombardier is over here like it's out here trying to mess with her throwing all these fucking water balloons and shit and Tinky Tink doesn't give a fuck she's just hammering away you know bang bang and all of a sudden it throws I don't know where the fuck this bitch got dentures but <laughs> He just threw them, hit Tinka Tink in the head, and then stole the iron block. And then, like, I was like, you did not just do that. You did not just steal from Tinka Tink. And then it becomes like a chase sequence. Tinka Tink chasing the bombardier, and then the gang chasing after Tinka Tink, or trying to find it. And then, like, Tinka Tink finds the nest, and then Dot finds Tinka Tink with Quaxwell over here, like, rummaging through the nest. And then Bombardier notices that Tinka Tink is up there, and it starts getting fucking pissy. So then it's like now a Quaxwell versus Bombardier fight, and all of a sudden this bitch rasselized <laughs> in the fucking wild. I will say, I like the fact that they brought the concept that wild Pokemon can rasselize. It's just weird that the first time we're seeing it is in Kitakami and not in Paldea where the fucking phenomenon is common. This is what I talk about when I say I wish that they were able to adventure out in Paldea and maybe we could have gotten a scenario where we saw wild terror Pokemon. It could have been something. And so this Bombardier terrestrializes out of nowhere and then like now it's like a terrestrialized Bombardier 
and then Dot is gonna try to slice Quaxwell, but she drops the Terror Orb because another fucking Bombardier shows up out of nowhere. And you're just like, the fuck? Since when do we do wild double bats? <laughs> this isn't Blueberry Academy. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> because you know the whole concept of Blueberry Academy, so you do double battles, right? <laughs> but in, we're in Kinokami, which is not Blueberry Academy, which means there's no such thing as double battles. But I digress, okay? Now, you know, like, Quaxwell can't do much. Dot is over here struggling to find the Terror Orb. So she's like giving commands, but also looking for the Terror Orb and trying to make sure the Tinker thing doesn't get body, right? So then, so then Quaxwell is getting his shit rocked because it's a two against one and they're, they're, they're doing combo attack with like, I think it's Rock Slide or, or, or it's not Stone Edge because Stone Edge is now on the ground. But like, whatever the fuck the attack is, and then the, the Tarascalage one, I think it was using, using Wing Attack. I don't fucking know. All I know is that they were they were beating the fuck out of Quaxwell. And then, like, Tinky Tink finally finishes her hammer, and she can't lift it up. She's like, God damn it, this shit's heavy as fuck. So she's, like, dragging because she notices that Quaxwell is getting fucked up by the two bombardiers. Then I, I want to say this. I want to say this because this is a... A warning. This is a fair warning to all the English dub viewers when they eventually get to this episode. The OST track when Tinkatink is like freaking out because Quaxwell is getting bodied and and she can't do anything because she's stuck up here on this fucking nest on top of this like rock and she can't pick up the hammer and everything that, from that sequence forward until she evolves, it was hype as fuck. That OST track had me going, bro. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, if you're an English dub viewer, and this is coming from somebody who only used to watch the dub until Horizons, right? Actually, until To Be A Master, because I wasn't going to wait for that shit. I was just going to watch it and be done without the storyline. But, like, realistically speaking, the only time you've ever watched the sub is Horizons, right? So take it from me, because they've already fucked this up before, right? Take it from me. You need to watch at least this episode in the sub version because of the fact that that OST track was hype as fuck, okay? Like, that was cool, and then Tinka Ting, like, drops, she drops with the hammer, like, you know, she drops the hammer, and, like, Bombardier has to get out of the way, and then all of a sudden, she's like, I'm here! <laughs> and then she fucking evolves as soon as she picks up her hammer, she's like, ah! she, like, lifts it up, high up above her head, and then she evolves, and then she's like, a Tinka Tough now, and then she's like, so, <laughs> start bashing everybody. And now it's a two on two, right? But, but, <laughs> this bitch learned to play rough out of nowhere. And I, it took me a second to realize what it was. Because what they ended up doing is that they had her hammer start going pink. And I'm like, okay, what, what move is this? And then, like, Dot tells her to use Brutal Swing, which turns the, the hammer like this dark color, like, like a dark black with, like, glowing embers and shit. And then she hits them with it, right? So, I'm like, okay, so it's not Brutal Swing what you use. And it wasn't until afterwards when she did like a double attack to like finally like defeat these things that as soon as she hits the glowing pink hammer on the, the bombardier, she starts doing the, the iconic like and then the, the giant smoke cloud that happens in the game. And I'm like, oh, that shit's play rough. <laughs> like, cause you, I, I didn't know that we're gonna use that as a, as a gimmick. It's like, oh, play rough is gonna start with the glowing pink hammer and then all of a sudden it's the, and I'm like, that's, that's, that's clever. Okay, I gotta give it to the animators. That, that one was good. Okay, that one was good. Or the writers. I don't know who decided the, the idea of how they were gonna animate Player Up. But that was cool, right? And then they bought them, and then everything was good. Like, and then they're like, oh my gosh, you Tinka Tinka evolved into Tinka Tough. And then it immediately starts trying to improve her hammer again. Like, I was like, girl, you just evolved, and you're still having some difficulties with us. We don't need you to start working on your Tinka Tongue evolution, okay? Let's calm down. But it was fun. I really liked this episode. I gotta say, it was hype as fuck. I was really enjoying myself. And and I will admit, I'm still a little iffy with the fact that Tinka Tink didn't really have a lot of battle experience. But the the reasoning they gave behind why it was evolving is because of the constant like hammering away and like constantly improving her hammer. And that's how Tinka Tink is supposed to evolve into Tinka Tough according to the lore. So I'll give it that. that at this time, I'll give it to you that the battles wasn't supposed to happen, right? I just wish that we had gotten at least a little bit more battle experience for her to evolve, okay? Because that's not how it works in the game. In the, games, in the games, you do it by battling and then leveling up and that's how you evolve. I understand that the games and the anime have different logics, 
but I still want the concept of Pokemon battles exist in both areas, in the games and the anime. That should also always be a focal point for Pokemon getting stronger, regardless if that's not their method of evolution. So I'm hoping that we get more action now because Tinkertuff actually looks like a powerhouse, right? You're able to be a powerhouse. So I hope they use her in more battles. That's all I'm saying. Outside of that, everything is good. I'm looking forward to the next episode, which is I'm gonna watch it tomorrow. Okay, I'm a little late. I'm a little behind the eight ball, but I'm trying to get this video out right now. And then hopefully I'll be able to watch the next episode early enough in the morning tomorrow so that I can upload it earlier in the day. So because it's Sunday, so more people can watch content during the day, right? That's what I'm hoping for. And then I'll upload that one. And I'm basically caught up with the show. I'm basically caught up with Horizons, which means Starting this week, I can actually start working on other content, not just Horizon. I'm basically done with daily uploads until I find myself in a good rhythm of the kind of content I want to release and, and the schedules that I will make for them, right? So tomorrow is the last daily upload, right? And I'll be able to start incorporating the other videos that I have in my backlog and all the other new ideas that I have, right? So it's just a lot of work and progress, but I need to get at least Horizons over and done with so I can actually focus on everything else, right? Because this is technically speaking the bread and butter of the channel is Pokemon Horizons reviews. So if I don't have that up to date, then I'm basically doing everything wrong, right? So I'm gonna leave it off there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you're an English dub viewer, I highly recommend watching the sub of this episode. You are gonna love that OST track because it really sets the mood for the episode and they're not going to do it in English dub. I'm telling you right now, they're not going to do it because they didn't do it before. Okay, I, I saw a clip of one of the earlier episodes that had some hype music behind it and they took it away in the dub. So watch the sub and that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your boy, Soros Croxton, and I will see you guys in future videos, streams, shorts, and everything in between.